Hello, Internet. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Instagram. Anywhere else is a video may appear. My name is Samuel Huber from SamuelHuber.net. Huber Family Adventures on Instagram. And on YouTube, Samuel Huber or InclusionTube are heroes of autism. I have three things going on at once on YouTube. But here we're going to focus on InclusionTube. I'm here with Benjamin Barry, and he's going to tell us a bit about himself. Take it away, Barry. Who are you? Hey, my name's Ben, and I am a circus artist and teaching artist and performer based in Buffalo, New York. And I had the privilege of participating in Inclusion Festival in 2019 by helping facilitate the Creation Zone with a visual arts group called um, Ver Verte and the Cosmic Circus. And at the Creation Zone, I facilitated movement art and circus arts workshops, as well as DIY circus prop making workshops. Oh, you, you froze. Hey, I'm Ben, and I'm a professional circus artist and teaching artist and performer based in Buffalo, New York. And in 2019, I had the privilege of helping facilitate the Creation Zone at Inclusion Festival. I collaborated with a couple of visual arts groups called Verb Verte and the Cosmic Circus. And while they handled all of the visual arts programming throughout the weekend, I facilitated circus arts, brain dance, and DIY circus prop making workshops. And we actually were able to donate 25 sets of juggling balls and 25 hula hoops to families who came to the station throughout the weekend. That's, a, that's amazing, Ben. Um, so for, for, the, for those of us who aren't familiar with uh, what you do, what exactly is hoop dancing? Um, well, it's what it sounds like. It's dancing with a hula hoop as an extension of your body. So while a lot of different cultures have danced with circle props throughout, you know, the last couple uh, millennia, <laughs> in modern times, thanks to music festival and arts festival culture, Burning Man, things like that, a modern hoop dance movement has really blown up um, ever since like the 90s. So now people of all ages dance with hula hoops. They do tricks on and off the body and, and uh, seamlessly string it together and create something called flow, which is basically the continuity of movement through different tricks and sequences. Awesome. And um, it also says you're a circus artist. What's a circus artist? So circus arts is something else that's another contemporary arts movement. Um, it ranges. There's aerialists who do um, apparatus-based arts. Wait, can I just re-say that? Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, so there's a modern social circus movement, which is all about making traditional circus arts forms more accessible for people of all levels of ability. So while circus arts used to be something you would do on stage only, now it's something that people do just for fun and wellness and mindfulness. So my area of expertise in circus arts is prop-based circus arts. So in addition to hula hooping, things like juggling, plate spinning, uh, poi, which is a Maori art form, and other types of object manipulation. Um, so are you saying you know some tricks? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> well, here is one of my crowd-pleasing circus arts. This is called plate spinning, and people cannot get enough of this, seriously, Samuel. <laughs> and I'm a little rusty. I haven't been practicing plate spinning very much in lockdown, but I can see what I can make happen for you. All right. Can I get like a drum roll or something? <laughs> Keyboard roll. All right, here we go. One. <clears throat> Two. And uh, 
three. This is the part where you clap. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I clap in the comments below. Thank you. <laughs> so that's plate spinning. That's an example of a prop-based circus arts. And believe it or not, people can often get it on their first try. And when they do that, I love to see this like little thing go off in their head where they realize, oh wait, I can do that. It's awesome. People love it. What got you all into being a hoop, dan uh, art, hoop dancing artist, circus artist? Uh, let's honestly, start boredom. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I honestly, boredom. About six years ago, going on seven years this August, I was in my friend Emily's yard, and we were just hanging out one summer, and she had some hula hoops in her yard, and I was like, oh, I could never do that growing up. So I picked it up, and I tried, and I could not do it. Mm -hmm. I had to try for about five hours to be able to keep the hoop going on my waist for like five seconds. And then I had this just amazing, like satisfied feeling, this hit of dopamine. And I went home and I realized that there's a whole massive online hula hooping community. Mm -hmm. So I just started watching all of the free resources on YouTube, um, lots of tutorials and channels and things like that and practice in my parents' yard. And I progressed pretty quickly. Within six months, I got certified to teach by a company called Hoopnautica. And within about a year and a half after I started hooping, I began touring the country and teaching workshops in major cities to hula hoopers all over. And now I've been a full-time professional hula hooper for about four years. So what that looks like pre-corona um, time was mainly partnering with schools and libraries and other types of community-based facilities and nonprofits, and I would do programming through that. But now my business has mostly moved online. So in the last few weeks, I've gotten together one to two hoop classes per week online as well as a creative movement class that is done seated or standing. And that one is on Saturdays. My hoop class is on Fridays, and sometimes I do a session on Sundays. Very, very cool. Um, uh, what was your experience uh, last year at, at Inclusion Fest? 10 out of 10, amazing. Must go to that festival every summer that it happens now. Mm -hmm. um, it, there's a lot of things that I love about Inclusion Festival, but I think it boils down to three main things that really stand out to me at Inclusion Festival. So the first thing is just the sheer amount of options and diversity you have in the programming. It's not just a music festival. It's not just an arts festival. There's all sorts of activities to do. On any given moment, you can take a yoga class, you can join a flash mob, you can take a meditation or self-care workshop. You can take a music workshop. Or you can just hang out with awesome people and so many other things. So that's the first thing, is the sheer amount of things to do. The second thing is how, unlike any other festival that I've ever encountered, it has a really true inclusive environment. So what I mean by that is instead of it being a festival made for able-bodied people and neurotypical people with inclusion elements tacked on, it's really integrated into the whole foundation of the festival. Every single detail is intentionally examined in a way to make sure that it is safely enjoyed by people of all bodies and all levels of ability. Mm -hmm. And that's really special and really something to be appreciated about Inclusion Festival, you know. Um, and the last thing about Inclusion Festival that was really special to me was the community itself. All of the love that's put into the event by the organizers, the staff, the volunteers, and the participants, it was just a truly loving and affir affirming environment. And I met so many awesome and welcoming people there. Hmm. Um, so that, lead, that leads into my next question, which is what does inclusion mean to you? Well, to me, inclusion means that you have the inherent freedom to come forth as whoever you are. 
So, like, the idea of radical inclusion, the idea that as long as you're not harming anyone, no one will be left behind, no one will be excluded. Mm -hmm. And Inclusion Festival made me realize that enjoyment of art and music and community are things that are actually a right. And Inclusion Festival makes sure that everyone can safely achieve that. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Benjamin, for coming on, on Inclusion Tube. Um, but if someone wants to take one of your classes or get in contact with you in any way, what's the best way to do that? Absolutely. Thank you for having me. The best way to reach me about classes is probably email. So my email is ben, B-E-N, at benjaminberry.com, my full name. And it's constantly evolving right now, um, but pretty consistently. Friday nights at 6 p.m. I do my Creative Hoop Dance class, which is a dance-based hula hoop class for all levels. On Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern time, I've been collaborating with an organization called the Positive Force Movement, which is actually a body positive movement space. And that's my creative movement class with no props, and that's seated or standing for all levels of ability. I'm also hoping to get a kid's circus class together at, at some point throughout the week if I get enough interest. And I can also do specialized um, group and private instruction. And lastly, I also have been doing pre-recorded content that I then give to organizations and nonprofits for them to have to give to their patrons and you know their base. So for example, Inclusion Festival sponsored a 10 minute brain dance video that they then showed in their Inclusion Zones Facebook group. Mm -hmm. So if you're involved with an organization that serves a population, I can create a uh, virtual content for you to then use to enrich that population. That's, I think that's a very powerful thing, especially with us being at home, we need to move our bodies in one way or another. No matter yeah, what, movement is definitely are. the medicine that we need right now. And it's been really awesome to see like movement artists really coming forward and offering free and sliding scale and donation-based content. Mm -hmm. It's so widely available right now. All right, Ben, thank you for coming on the show. Everyone who's watching, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe in the in the section below. Uh, ben, I hope Benjamin, I hope to have you on the show again sometime. Thank you for coming on. For everyone Sounds else. great. Yeah, hope to see you soon, anytime. All <laughs> right, everyone, this is Sam Hewer signing off.